The next morning, Diana sat at the dining room table and spread her usual piece of toast liberally with butter, then poured herself a cup of tea. Verity was still filling her plate, and Eliza was probably still asleep as usual. When Verity approached to sit down, she gaped at Diana. That's all you're eating? We have a long day ahead of us, so it would be wise to prepare. You appear to be preparing for Napoleon's army, Diana said, with a nod to Verity's plate, piled high with tartlets, Westphalia cakes, various combinations of fruit on skewers, marzipan figures, ham slices carved in the shape of pigs, and turkey slices carved in the shape of turkeys. Her sister poured herself some coffee and added cream. I am, in a way. These are the items I mean to suggest for Rosie's ball. Lady Rosabel, Diana corrected her. Right, and I will call her that when she's around. You will call her that everywhere, so you don't slip up and call her the wrong thing in front of anyone important. My dear sister, Verity said with a sniff, I can see that after yesterday's contretemps with the Duke, you are flexing your dictatorial muscles. But aside from the fact that I'm only a year younger than you, I am also an important part of this business concern, and you are not in charge, whatever you may think. If anyone should be in charge, it's Eliza. It's her house, and she's the oldest. But we agreed a long time ago that we all have a stake in decisions. You're right, Diana stirred some honey into her tea. Forgive me if I'm being bossy. I'm just a bit out of sorts this morning. I didn't sleep well last night. I had disturbing dreams. I would wonder if you'd dreamed about the Duke, but I doubt you would call dreams like that disturbing. No, indeed. Diana had dreamed about the Duke, but not in the way Verity probably imagined. She'd dreamed of him nude. She had never dreamed of a man nude before. And that wasn't even the disturbing part. That had come when he'd put his hands on her, kissed her, and touched her all over, and she'd liked it. She'd awakened to find herself rubbing her breast with one hand and between her legs with the other. How shocking. Lord help her, was this how it had happened for Mother? Was Diana destined to be a wanton too, 